Happy holidays, friends. Logan Myers here for CinemaFellas.com. Today I wanted to do a December unboxing. I got a bunch of movies for Christmas, um, some uh, TV series, some movies. I got some movies from Henry Hill, from CinemaFellas, and I got a TV series that I just reviewed from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. So a bunch of great flicks I want to kind of unbox and talk to you about it, and then hopefully eventually I'll get around to reviewing this for our channel right here. So let's get to it, shall we? So the first two flicks I got from Henry Hill over at Cinefellas for Christmas, uh, 4K Evil Dead 2, groovy. I actually have not seen this on 4K, I saw the original, so really excited for this, one of my favorite horror franchises. Love Bruce Campbell, had the honor of uh, interviewing him three years ago. I'm um, talking about Ash vs. Evil Dead, huge fan of that show as well. So really excited to add this to my collection, my horror collection that's ever growing. And Henry also sent me The Cabin in the Woods, Drew Goddard's horror flick that I absolutely love. I just rewatched this recently. I've never reviewed this, so I'm really looking forward to watching this on 4K and doing a little review of the movie because it's wicked twisted fun. The 4K Ultra HD and the Blu-ray, Cabin in the Woods. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So the next one we got is Evil Dead 2. Take off the little slip here. Love that cover. The silver and red and black, it's beautiful. In the back you got all about the movie, some pics. Cut that out, and that is the inside of the Evil Dead 2 4K Ultra HD. Just like the cover, it's beautiful. Throwing up the boomstick. I'm pretty sure this was the Evil Dead 2 poster when the movie was released. Love that with the skull. Deadites. Hey, she bitch. The next up on the unboxing for this month I got for Christmas from our friends over at Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. Yes, I'm going to plug Warner Brothers right now. Uh, you guys are fantastic. Thank you for always sending us Blu-rays to review. But what they just sent me is the first season of Castle Rock 4K. How beautiful is that? The town was made for terror. Old Castle Rock, you know, the Stephen King universe. Uh, that show... You know, it's hard to decipher, honestly, the last, like I did my review the first season. Um, you know, the last two episodes were kind of weird. It kind of threw me off. I didn't really love how they ended the first season. But, you know, there was a lot of momentum built up in this, this town, the Stephen King universe, all these different characters, and just a really fantastic show. Just the ending kind of threw me off. Here we go. It looks beautiful. The Castle Rock. This isn't having to release yet, by the way. I think it comes out in a few weeks. But I have the first copy of it. Because Warner Brothers rules. Tell you the box in the back. Looks awesome. Person on top of the roof. Color scheme is beautiful, all of the greens. And I'm going to take that out. So nobody can be stealing that. So that's inside the first season of Castle Rock. You got all the um, episode titles here. So that's the disc here. Looks like old Shawshank Redemption. A little Shawshank prison there. With the kid that was trapped. It was a big part of the, the season. of A uh, big part of the first season with uh, Shawshank. Throwing that in. Disc 2 and disc 1. The 4K. Disc 2, the Blu-ray. So thank you very much, Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. You guys rule. This is awesome. And another box set that I got for Christmas for my wife, or Santa Claus, uh, I'm really excited for. This is one of my favorite franchises. Um, I remember this came out when I was in high school. I read all the books. It still holds up. I meant the CGI is beautiful. And it's definitely a collection you watch during the holiday season, knowing, you know, kids at Hogwarts and all the snow and stuff that happens. Uh, it's really cool and it's definitely something you want to watch with your family this time of the year. So I got the eight film Harry Potter 4K collection. Holy shit, this has been on my, my list for some time. Really excited to finally have it in 4K and Blu-ray. Jesus, this is gonna take me forever to review all these, but I'll, you know, I really want to because I've never actually reviewed any Harry Potter films. Being a huge fan, I've never dived into it. So I think it's about time. What do you guys think? That's it, that's the box, 4K. Let's open it up. Amazon contraceptive. Amazon y'all wild. Wow, look at that. That bronze color. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is probably the coolest box set I've seen of Harry Potter. 
Then you got the back. The side you got all the film titles. And there we go. And then we got the Blu-ray collection here. So whatever format you want to watch it in, it's pretty cool. Blu-ray, pretty much like the other one. Or you can watch it in 4K or Blu-ray, whatever you want. Whatever your heart desires. I think I'm going to go straight for the 4K just to see how it looks. Like the CGI and the Hogwarts and, you know, Voldemort and everything, all the battles and shit. It's going to look awesome in 4K. The movie, The Sorcerer's Stone. So basically they have all the movies, Chamber of Secrets, you have Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and then you have the Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2 with the beautiful Harry Potter font. Harry Potter! And that's inside the 4K. I'm not going to go into the Blu-rays, they're going to be the same setup, but that's it for the Harry Potter 8 film collection 4K and Blu-ray. And last but not least, I've been wanting this collection for like five or six years since they released it on Blu-ray. My favorite show of all time, my favorite HBO series. Yeah, I like it more than Game of Thrones. Um, I quote it every day. <laughs> it's just a fantastic show. I've watched it the entire series um, probably five or six times. So I'm definitely going to be re-watching this and hopefully reviewing it. I've never reviewed it. I didn't think I had the balls to review it, but I think it's about time, boys. What do you think? And I'm talking about The Sopranos. It's about a bing, huh? Whoa! Sopranos entire collection. 86 episodes in 1080p high definition on 28 discs. That's a lot of Blu-rays, boys. And this is it. It looks beautiful. Straight from Amazon. Had a gift card from work. So I had to get this. So in love with this. And five hours of bonus features. Jesus. There goes my month of January, huh? So you got old... James Gandolfini in the front, Tony Soprano, rest in peace. What a fantastic actor. So let's open it up. Look at that. You got the slip. But it comes out like this. Well, here it comes. Holy moly, look at that. Beautiful set. This is probably my favorite set I have right now. It looks amazing. Six seasons. Yeah, the last season was two parts. So the first one, he had the bonus features. Over five hours of bonus features. David Chase, showrunner, the man, the myth, the legend. And not to mention they're uh, putting out a prequel film of The Sopranos soon. So I'm really interested to see what they do with Junior Corrado and uh, Tony's dad back in the 60s. So the first season is Tony himself, James Gallofini in the front. Season one. I'm not going to go through all these, the discs, but that's what it looks like inside. Season 1, episodes 1 through 3. Got the awesome Sopranos font. I love. That's the first season. I guess you can call that a dick. Polly Walnut, season 2. He's got the wings on the side. He's a badass. Tony Sirico, who was in Goodfellas. Fantastic actor. Season 2. Christopher, how could you? Season 3, old Christopher. Liked his heroin, didn't he? I love those eyebrows. <laughs> Whoa, Sil! Always pissed off looking. He's the uh, guitarist in uh, Bruce Springsteen's band. He can play guitar. He's also a badass dude. Four season. There she is, the doctor. Little Tony had a little love interest in her. Dr. Milfi. She was also in Goodfellas. Lorraine Bracco. Fantastic act actress. Whoa! Oh, Uncle June! You telling me Uncle Junior gives that? South of the border! <laughs> oh, Uncle June. Season 6, Part 1. And then, last but not least, Carmela Soprano, Edie Falco. She was awesome in the show. She got tired of Tony's shit. Get out of here, motherfucker. But yeah, I love Edie Falco. She's a fantastic actress. Really great wife to Tony. Great character in the show and that's the last part of season six so those are all the blu-rays in the sopranos complete series box collection so that was it for this month's december unboxing lots of great series movies some friends family santa claus and our friends over at warner brothers home entertainment thank you for all these great movies i can't wait to watch these i'm going to be pretty busy the next few months and really can't wait to get around to reviewing a lot of these a lot of the harry potters revisiting the sopranos castle rock Evil Dead 2, 
lots of great stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that unboxing video. But so I want to hear from you guys. What did you guys get for Christmas? Did you guys get any box series, TV shows, movies? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit subscribe. This is Logan Meyer signing out from New Jersey until 2019 for the next unboxing video. Jeez!